Alright, so welcome back to Zombies vs. iBots. Uh, yeah, they're killing quite a few of them. Yeah, that's a dead iBot. That's a dead iBot. That one dropped a flashlight, I think. Uh, yeah, that's... Oh, he's killed it. He's on his way after me. But yeah, I think when you kill one, another one actually spawns. So... Yeah, I think they're just going to keep spawning forever and ever. It's just quite silly. Uh, right, I did make a makeshift knife with the last character. Because they're really not that hard to make, so I think I should just do that rather than scurry around looking for stuff. Uh, I thought there was some piles of debris somewhere. But I guess I'll just go smash... Um, one of these things. Grab some string. There we go. Shouldn't be too hard. Smashy smashy. And disassemble the string. There we go. Let's have all of that. Alright, what am I missing? A spike. I haven't made a spike. Spick. There we go. Confirm. Stop crafting. No, I just kind of mashed the keyboard there. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Makeshift knife. I don't need a makeshift key uh, crowbar for once. I nearly said keyboard then, for some reason. Uh, that would be a bit silly. Alright, uh, military rucksack. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Old? Old meat? It's only been there a day, I don't really understand that. Uh, but yeah, I might as well cut up everything and start collecting uh, not tainted bones. Ew. Gross. Uh, but yeah, start collecting rags and stuff. So we can craft clothes and whatnots. Because I haven't touched my uh, tailoring skill yet. There's a nail gun there as well. Pretty good. Uh, firefighter zombie. Yeah, I don't think I'll cut those things up just yet. Oh, noise cancelling headgear. Those are pretty good for uh, trying to get to sleep in a difficult to sleep in place. Uh, what was that that I just put in there? I have no idea. There's a gas mask, medical gloves. Why? <laughs> Destination area is full. Okay. I guess we'll um, salvage those rags. Take those. Didn't mean to take the extra Halligan bar. And let's butcher this guy right here. What was all this crap again? Right. So, uh, electronic cigarette, an advanced one. Less harmful, but still addictive. I think that's what it just says for the other one. Uh, nope. Absolutely no idea what the difference is. Joyability 8, charges. That doesn't say any kind of enjoyability. Well, I, I don't know. Makes no sense to me. Alright, let's uh, lock ourselves in. And I'm probably going to immediately, because it's going to annoy the hell out of me, uh, disassemble all of these bloody desks over here. Yep. <laughs> I've done this before in a fire station that I've set up a base in. Just immediately get rid of these, because it just gets in the way, like... If you want to drag a shopping cart through here, you have to go around them. What's going on? Oh, I didn't press the key. That's what's going on. Uh, yeah. I suppose I could smash one. I mean, I need to make... a needle. I think, uh, yeah, you need splintered wood for that. So, there we go. Go ahead. And uh, maybe I'll turn these into other kinds of furniture, maybe some dresses. Uh, 
probably pretty much just gonna disassemble everything I don't need here. Cause uh yeah. Right, all items move onto that tile please. Get them out of the way. There we go. Uh yeah, because I mean I got a refrigerator there. Oh <laughs> I can't construct while I'm standing on this shopping cart. Let's just get that out of the way. What was that option that I had there? Uh, board up wood door. Oh, I don't want to do that. Let's deconstruct this chair in here as well. Um, you know, see that's a, a table there, but I'll leave that because I can put uh, books on it. And that makes sense, to pile books on a table. Uh, that's a sink. I don't know if I can deconstruct that. I can't. I can smash it though. Which is <laughs> rather rude, but it'll do. Uh, I'll leave the toilet, I guess. Everyone needs a toilet. Uh, right, let's try and get all of this crap out of here. Leave the clothes where they are. Uh, right. All items up to that way. Oh god. It's gonna get a little bit cluttered. Nails, pilot light, scrap metals, <clears throat> two by fours. And yeah, you know what, I'm gonna get rid of these uh, fiction books. There we go. Yeah, all of those things. One of those. And yeah, we'll leave the blankets on the beds where they are, except for when I don't and I accidentally move it. Uh, that rubber hose, I'm sure, will come in useful. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do is uh, drag lockers in here. So I'll pull those back. Right. Well, I should be able to uh, just move all of this crap all at once now. There we go. And those to there. And that's a pile of junk that I might sort out at some point. Let's, uh, let's get these turnout trousers. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> just putting them on just to move them. It's a bit silly. But yeah, it's a nice tight little space there. And um, I could get a wood stove down there or a fireplace. And it'll be really, really cozy. I have 12 strength, so I don't need to worry about not being able to move these things. It's a bit annoying when you can't move furniture. Like, I'm not the strongest person in the world, but... Whoops. You need to move it in there. But I think even I could drag around a bit of furniture if I had to. It's not that difficult. Right. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll continue this off-camera for a little while. Okay, cozy little survivor hole, all ready and set up. Uh, so let's have a look around the place, and I'll put this cough syrup over here. So here's where I'm going to store my medical supplies. So far, it is cough syrup. Um, you know, I'm going to need some more of that at some point. Uh, don't have anything else to drop off really. Uh, so. Yeah, here we have sewing supplies. I disassembled one of the beds, uh, which gave me about 400 rags, which is pretty awesome. That's going to be trash uh, next to food. Um, mostly so my bottles are next to the food. Uh, I've got weapons locker there. It's just got a flag on, which I found in here. Uh, there's my tools. Uh, I've put the air horn away just to stop me from messing with it. Got my books on the desk there, and then electronics here by the door. Uh, so that does leave me with a spare locker there which I don't really know what to put in it. But I'm sure we'll figure something out. Alright, I forgot that I had stuff in here. Yes, I've got a lot of stuff. Um, flashlights, there's electronics. Uh, I suppose the jumper cables are as well actually. Uh, anything that uses Batteries is pretty much going to go in there. Uh, the nail gun loads 
they almost not batteries. All right, let's stand here. So, flare gun. There's weapons. So I'll go ahead and put those in there. Can't believe I didn't find a shotgun there. That sucks. Oh, I did find a shotgun. I have the best memory in the world. A uh, suppressor can go in there as well. What was that laser sight? Uh, where are the books here? There we go. So I'll probably skim through these books if it doesn't get dark by the time I've finished. God damn it. Bloody autosave. Uh, that's right. Tools. Fire extinguisher. Gas mask. Well, that's more like clothes, really. But I think I will put it in there, actually. Because I'll never bloody find it in the uh, tools cupboard. In the clothes cupboard, because it's full of 400 racks. Like, quite literally. Okay, and on this side, that's garbage. There's uh, food. Move the molasses. Oh, there we go. Uh, meat jerky, popcorn, powdered eggs. Delicious. It's been a, like I remember having powdered eggs as a kid, but it's been so long since I've even seen them existing. Eggs last for ages anyway. There was probably a use by date of like next week on it or something. They last so much longer than that. Seriously. It lasts at least a couple of months. Yeah, the thing I like about lockers and dresses um, is that you can actually store twice as much stuff in them. So it's 8,000 uh, versus 4,000, so it's well worth actually using lockers rather than just dropping stuff on the floor, really. Um, right, so I guess we'll get some food then. I'll get this meat jerky. Oh, we really don't have a lot of drinks, do we? We've got some toilet water. <laughs> but, don't really fancy that. Uh, I'm carrying some stuff. Ah, clean water, there we go. Sort that out before my hunger. Uh, I'll eat these beans, and... a chocolate bar. Gonna be super happy. Don't really want to eat this burrito uncooked, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to cook it before, uh... What happens if I just eat the whole packet of chewing gum? <laughs> These are questions you ask yourself in the apocalypse. I'm slightly happy about it. Yeah, let's take some vitamins after that, shall we? But yeah, this place is cozy as hell, man. Like, uh, if I could knock this wall down without causing a cave-in, that'd be nice. But uh, I guess I'll just leave the toilet in there. So I'll probably put like a wood stove or whatever there. If I ever find one. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go sleep in this corner. Saying that it is day one. Uh, I do have some drowsy cough syrup in the corner. Oh, I think it's worked. Wow, sleeping on day one. That's crazy. I think maybe it's because I took the heavy sleeper. Uh, thing. I have seen my schizophrenia manifest just slightly while I was moving the furniture around. I um, I saw like a bunch of X's appear in the message log, which is no good. Uh, right, what kind of a breakfast? Popcorn, I guess. <laughs> I don't really have anything else, do I? I'm not really happy about a breakfast of meat, jerky, and popcorn, so... That's cool. Alright, so let's drop all of this trash in here. And... Yeah, we're traveling pretty light. Which is good. I like that. Uh, it's a restaurant nearby. Where's my cursor? That's the gun store. It's a fast food restaurant. I don't think that's going to have a wood stove, honestly. I know sometimes pizza places do, but I don't see one. Plus, walking through this town, I mean, there's still going to be a whole bunch of zombies here. There's a evac shelter down there. What's this? A fungal tower. Oh, Christ. There's some blobs up here as well. That's nice. That's going to be uh, a big help. 
later on, I think. An antique store, I wonder. Manic Depressive. Okay. Uh, I think... Shall I bring the shopping cart? I might as well. There's no real reason not to. The best thing about this place is... I can lock it up, so if an NPC wanders by... They ain't gonna steal my shit. Where the hell did that zombie come from? Uh, okay. Right, if this doesn't drop any clothes when it dies... It'll be a bit miffed. Okay. So it's not one that's come back from the dead. So I do have that mod installed. I also have the vehicle additions mod. So hopefully I get to play with that at some point. Uh, how are my clothes anyway? Army jacket's really badly damaged. I will try and avoid getting hit. Uh, so I'm dithering because I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to find in the antique store. Right, I have already been down this way. Shouldn't meet too much resistance. Alright, uh, gold watch. Nice. I think I can wear both of those. Yeah. <laughs> totally blinged out. Uh, at least it means I can drop my pocket watch. A cowbell? Are you serious? Potentially useful in so many ways. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta play with the cowbell now. Clank, 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 clank. Yes, awesome. <laughs> How much space does that take up? More than is sensible for me to be carrying it around. Well, that's a shame. Ooh, a sword. What kind of sword is it? It is a broadsword. <laughs> it's a real broadsword. Uh, okay, <laughs> I, I kind of feel like all of my characters recently have been using broadswords. But, um, it's just such a good weapon, like, it would be foolish not to use it. Uh, cut 35, it does, it's got some bash damage, so it doesn't really get cut, uh, stuck in things. Plus two to hit, and it really isn't that slow, considering it's a big bloody sword. Because, yeah, my Fire Axe does a very similar amount of damage, but as I've said before, it's split between two different types. And it's actually slower, which <laughs> doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, I've actually leveled Bashing and Cutting uh, both up to two. So, I mean, it wouldn't... It wouldn't really mean a change in uh, skills, Christ's sake. Get out of the menu before pressing the keys. Uh, yeah, I just I think it would just be interesting if I actually used something different for a change. So I'm gonna stick with my fire axe. Uh, plus it has plus I can just randomly chop down trees if I need to. <laughs> So anyway, there was no wood stove in there. I think, um... I think I should just... The thing is, I don't have time to read books, really. Um, Adela Underwood, Adela Underwood. I think I might need to find some Thorazine at some point for my schizophrenia. Yeah. That would probably be the sensible thing. Uh... Yeah, I don't really have time to read skill books, because what I could do is, um... Cold wind in the summer? But what I could do is get my construction up to two. It's already up to one from disassembling all that furniture. Uh, there's unbutchered things here. That's not very nice. We're gonna smell. We'll, uh, butcher them. I'll let them rot away. What's that? Tainted bones. Guess they don't have a tile yet. That's alright. Uh, ooh. Zombie soldier here. I'll take all of your things. Um, 
What is that? What's that use? 5 times 50 mil flechette. That's a big old machine gun, I guess. Oh, yes, please. If I ever find the ammo for it, of course. Uh, anything here? Another fire extinguisher. Guess I could have a spare. Oops, I'm walking right past the building that I meant to go in. It's not very bright. Okay, and... Why did I come back here? Oh yeah, I was going to read my um, skill books. Uh, so I guess I'll keep hold of the broadsword. But uh, that was the wrong locker. Let's get that out of there. And... Tools. I'll keep the cowbell. I have absolutely no idea what use it's actually going to be. But, um, I'm sure I'll find something. Right. Let's get the MBR vest in there. Ah, so I did get Birdhouse Monthly. I think that this is the wrong book. Yep, that is the wrong book. Cannot get construction any higher with that. Uh, and as for the rest of them, let's go ahead and skim through them so we just know what the hell they are. Well, there's no recipes in either of those. Oh, that one, I don't think. Oh, that one. Oh, no, they do have crafting recipes. It's just in the same color as the rest of the message. Ooh, homemade rocket explosive. Nice. Can I make the radio bomb with that? Uh, I only briefly played with the radio controlled bombs. Whoa, that took a long time. Okay, yeah, that's the one with the CBMs. So, I think I'm gonna have to go cut down some fucking trees or something. I don't know what else is gonna get my skill up to two. Uh, chop tree trunk, yep. Improvised shelter, that still requires wandering into the woods. Uh, building a door, I don't really want to build a bunch of doors, honestly. Seems a bit pointless. Uh, what's that? So build a wall. Don't need to build any walls, nope. Log walls. <clears throat> Actually, things with the skill level 1 would get me to 2 as well, wouldn't they? I'm looking at the wrong things. Uh, so build fence. Well, let's just have a look at till soil. It's not going to do anything. Chop tree trunk into logs. That's what it is. So basically, I have to go chop down a tree. Are there any trees nearby? There's usually some outside the houses. Oh no, that place up north is where um, the game kept crashing. Some piles of stuff up there. Yeah, I mean we'll go up there eventually, but... But there has to be a tree nearby somewhere. Uh, maybe out the front of this house? No. Uh, so we've got these little shrubs in front of places. What's this sign? The dress has been defaced. Okay. Uh, I mean, there's a stone fireplace right there. I should just move into this house. I've already set it up in my uh, fire station now, so... Ooh, a wrench. Good stuff. Oh, let's kill this dog. Oh, there's a tree right there, but I think it's a little tree. There's a turkey corpse nearby. I don't think I will bother with it, though. I'm not going to have too much meat on it. God damn it. Well, there goes my army jacket. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen as well. How are you bloody hitting me? What's my speed like right now? It's not that bad. Uh, I guess it's just this weapon. Uh, oh no, spitter zombie. Where was it? Northwest. Okay, way off to the northwest. You can see those craters up there as well. Yeah, that's just a normal or a little baby tree. There's a tree. 
There we go. Right. Um, fortunately, it seems to come with some zombie companions. They're busy. They're fighting down the. They're fighting the iBot. Should be able to chop this tree down. Oh, I. Uh, <laughs> I broke the road. <laughs> I didn't know that happened. Uh, okay. Chop tree trunk into logs. Is it doing it? Oh wow, it just did it really, really fast. Wasn't expecting that. Right, um... Well now it's doing it. Alright, there's no message to say you chop your tree trunk into logs or whatever. How are we doing? That got my skill up to 11%, so that pretty much means... Oh no. Survivor. Okay, he wants me to kill his zombie mom. So, give me some stuff. And he gives me a chunk of fresh fat. Well, alright. Do you have to smash the window, dude? God, he's such a vandal. Um, yeah, so what's here? Ooh, soldering iron. I'm gonna get that before he does. Uh, get away from me. Uh, where was his zombie mom? Uh, way down here in the southeast. I'll get around to it. See you later. But right now, I want to run off into the woods. And yeah, this is where the game was crashing. It's a fucking man hack up there. I really want to avoid that. Uh, well, that NPC is following me. I'll let him deal with these guys. Hmm, we have your oxidizer powder. I'll take that. It just appears to be in a little pile on the floor. Science ID cards. Good stuff. Science SD memory card. Ah, okay, it's encrypted. It says it looks interesting, but it probably isn't. Uh, yeah, I mean. I'm not actually traveling out to get anything in particular here, so I'll just pick up random loot along the way. I'll let the NPCs deal with the zombies. Oh, hello. We've got a military spawn out here. Ooh, a jet injector. Those things are great. Uh, let me just examine it just to make sure I've got the right thing. Where is it? Lots of tools. Uh, small pestle shaped injector device. Inject fast healing chemicals. Warns against using more than two doses per hour. Alright, we're half an hour in here. I should end the episode. So next time we will not use that thing more than twice per hour. <laughs>